I understand there are some government employees here. Uh, you're not going to like what I'm going to say. Um, so either take a stiff drink or go play pool for a while if you don't want to be offended. The blockchain is the first world-changing technology in the past 100 years that did not come from the bowels of a secret government development, didn't come from the CIA, did not come from Samsung or Apple or IBM. It came from ordinary programmers, ordinary people. And it's been with us for almost 10 years. It has become part of the people. Governments are just now starting to see the blockchain and cryptocurrency as an opportunity or a threat uh, or something to fear and it is all of those all three the opportunity is like with facebook's libra to say we have created something that empowers the people well that's bullshit doesn't empower anybody except Facebook because everything you do now will be monitored financially not just what you're buying not just the people you're talking to who your friends are that's already monitored no everything that you do financially is this in the people's interest you know the answer to this we are rapidly a approaching an era where people versus government becomes a worldwide phenomenon. Now, why would governments fear the blockchain and cryptocurrency? It's because with the advent of privacy coins like Monero and dozens of others, and the advent of distributed exchanges, which are just now, becoming real, then governments can neither monitor nor control what is happening in your financial life. If you're using a privacy coin like Monero and a distributed exchange like the McAfee Dex, which just came out two weeks ago, we're in beta by the way, it's not real, I mean it's real but not functional, in six months it will be the equivalent of Binance on a distributed and decentralized basis. Now we built ours on the Ethereum blockchain and we'll be doing it on other blockchains as well so that you can't shut it down, it's there. What is the blockchain? An immutable record of what's happened. Now what happened is we put a bunch of smart contracts on it that will allow distributed exchanges to be real. So when the SEC or the IRS comes to me and says, what have you done? I'm going to go, oh God, I'm sorry. I never thought that you might want to see what's happening. I made a mistake. But it can't be changed. It can't be altered. It can't be controlled. It can never be shut down. So this scares governments. Why? If they do not know where your income is coming from, what you're spending, then they can't collect income taxes which is the largest single revenue source for almost every government. Now, in my mind, income taxes, at least in America, are illegal. They're unconstitutional. And until 1913, we didn't have them. Nevertheless, today, income taxes is the majority of the United States revenue source. Now, if you believe that people are going to be honest and if they earn $100,322, they're going to say so in their tax returns, knowing that the government doesn't know. There's no way for the government to find out. But yes, I'm going to be honest and tell you, you know that that's a lie. People are not this way. They don't act in this fashion. If they can get away with something and know they can't be caught, then, well, they're not going to pay taxes. This frightens governments. 
But unfortunately, it's like Pandora's box. The blockchain and cryptocurrency is out of that box and it will never be put back in. So what are governments doing? Or corporations or regulatory agencies contemplating or building their own cryptocurrency like China or corporations like Facebook? Why? Thinking that if they promote this properly, like Facebook's empowering the people, utter bullshit. Controlling the people is what they're talking about. And as governments come out with their own cryptocurrencies, the crypto dollar, the crypto euro, the crypto pound, they will be saying the same thing. We are empowering you, making your life easier, when what are they really doing? Monitoring, controlling, and getting deeper access into the privacy of your own lives. So this is that reality. But the people, the people who are using Bitcoin, Monero, Ethereum, the people who are on exchanges, the people who are selling goods and services for cryptocurrency, well, they've been doing this for a while and they're not going to stop. And the technology developed by the people, privacy coins, distributed exchanges, this will win only if the people understand that this is where their power is. It's not going to be with Libra. It's not going to be with the crypto dollar. It's going to be with something that comes out of this morass of thousands of cryptocurrencies that currently exist, which we all latch on to. And it will be a privacy coin. And maybe many, hundreds, it doesn't matter how many. If they're usable, if they're functional, that's all that matters. When people understand that with Ethereum, Bitcoin, and many of the others, if I send you money or you send me money or you publish your wallet address on your Twitter page, well, I can go in and see how much is in there, what comes in, what goes out. If your bank did that, if a plumber came to your house, fixed your sink, you wrote them a check for $40, they went to the bank and said, hi, I'd like to see Mr. McAfee's balance in his account, please. And the bank goes, oh yeah, here, he's got this much. And would you please alert me every time money comes in and who it came from? And alert me when money goes out and who he's, who he's sending it to? Would you be happy? No, but that's the current state of much of cryptocurrency. Privacy coins solve that problem. Unless you don't really care. I mean, if you want your plumber to know how much money you have, and how you're spending it or receiving it, that's cool with me. But if that does bother you, you will be with a privacy coin. And if you want to do transactions that are just between you and the person you are transacting with, you will use distributed exchanges. Where in our exchange, we ask for no information, no name, no email address, no documentation, nothing. We hold no money. We are a portal onto the blockchain where we have established a bunch of smart contracts that operate this autonomously. We are not in control. You are in control. Now, it'll be another six months before it's complete. We already have our beta released and it's going fine. But when it is released completely and when it's functional with cross-chain transactions, it will be just like Binance, only we don't charge anything to list a coin. You don't have to give us a Lambo and $200,000, no. You press the button at the top, name the coin, and put in the technical specs, and you're now fucking listed. That's it. Privacy coins, distributed exchanges, will be the end of government control. They cannot anymore stop it, control it, or monitor it. Now, what do you think is going to happen? 
when that occurs. Our government's going to go, oh, fuck, we lost. They won. 